the man who got it all started, the author of the number one bestseller, Clinton Cash, the untold story of how and why foreign governments and businesses help make Bill and Hillary rich. And from the Government Accountability Institute, Peter Schweitzer, former deputy assistant to the president, Sebastian Gorka. Um, if I remember, I think I did the first interview for Clinton Cash on radio and TV. Peter, correct or no? Yeah, you're exactly right, Sean, from the very beginning. That's right. And, and you warned us about this. And you said there's about $145 million in kickbacks to the Clinton Foundation total? Yeah, that's right. $145 million that we know about um, comes from a variety of sources, but it's basically nine shareholders in this Uranium One company, guys like Frank Justra, Sergey Curzon, and, and others. And uh, there's, there's a major story to be told there, not only about how this deal was approved, but how this deal was put together and the fact that the Clintons made a lot of money uh, by basically helping the Russians to corner the world uranium market. And that's what Vladimir Putin set out to do. Our FBI knew it, our Department of Justice knew it, and they still let it happen. That's inconceivable. That's to right, me. Sean. And yeah, and let's add to that list, by the way, Hillary Clinton knew about it. I mean, as I point out in the book, and anybody can go to WikiLeaks and look at, uh, there were State Department cables uh, classified that came out in WikiLeaks that were going to Hillary Clinton, top secret, that were talking about the fact that the Russians were looking to corner the world uranium market. They were active in Kazakhstan, they were active elsewhere, and that it was a strategic goal of Vladimir Putin to try to grab as much of the world uranium market as possible. So she was informed about this. She knew about this uh, and apparently didn't care. All right, Dr. Gorka, I don't know any other way to say this. Anybody that will give away uranium to the hostile actor, and if you don't believe Putin's a hostile actor and Russia is a hostile country, listen to Hillary's own words and listen to every Democrat, and listen to everybody in the media, what they've been lecturing us about with their phony Trump-Russia collusion story. America's national security was severely compromised here, and we had a chance to stop it. And not only did we not stop it, they made money on it. I don't know, I, I, I don't know any other way to describe this, except they sold out our security. Your reaction? Sean. Sean uh, first things first, we owe you a debt of gratitude, we owe Peter, we owe Sarah Carter for not giving up. First things first, we've got a lot of territory to cover. Number one, again, the president was right. Let's just start with that. He was right that if there's any collusion, it's on the other side. Secondly, massively important point, this story is not about opposition research. This is about corruption. It's about collusion and potentially treasonous activity. Members of the Obama administration at the cabinet level, as there was an FBI investigation of racketeering on uranium by Russia in America, approved this deal. Hillary Clinton approved a deal that would give 20% of our uranium to a nation like Russia that supports you know, rogue regimes. This is massive, Sean. Absolutely you know, you massive. Think back. I remember Donald Trump took a meeting, Donald Trump Jr., one meeting. He says he didn't even remember who was in the meeting because I asked him. And the media went insane. They're still bringing it up. Right. Hillary Clinton gets $145 million. He gets twice his normal speaking fee. He wants to meet with nuclear officials. He's paid by a bank with a financial interest in Uranium One. Oh, that's not a big deal to anybody else in the media. I, I, sure. I, I can't stomach the fact these people are so in the tank in yeah. the media, in this profession supposedly, it's despicable what they're doing to the American people. You can't trust them. And, and not only that, look at the writing yesterday by Molly Hemingway at The Federalist. How many stories are out there in the media that came from Fusion GPS. This isn't just the only story. They were working hand in glove with the liberal media. Your audience needs to know that G Fusion GPS was making stuff up about President Trump and feeding it to other journalists. But the last point here, Sean, the only reason we have Mueller investigating the president today is why. Because James Comey briefed the dossier to the president, and within minutes, that was leaked to CNN. Right now, we have to have the AG cancel Mueller's mandate, because the dossier was full of Russian propaganda from Russian agents and was fallacious. It was a lie. All right. Mueller is culpable. But you think Mueller is culpable? Yes.
without a doubt. He knew. Without a doubt. He, ha Look, he had to know. He had and, to, he and had Eric to know. Holder knew. And Eric he Holder signed off on the deal. He had to know that this was a bogus dossier. He had to know it because he knew the sources. Secondly, why was he paying Michael Steele? Why was the FBI yeah, paying Michael Steele? <laughs> for, the, for the phony dossier, the propaganda, the misinformation, and the lies that were fed to the American people uh, that were tried to be used, the Russian phony dossier, to influence an election. All right, Peter, back to you. The one talking point you hear is, and even like liberal Joe and all these idiots in the media, you know, they're out there saying, well, the, the Fusion uh, GPS uh, first was uh, hired by some Republican donor. But the Not fact true. is, it was prior, it was general op research prior to Christopher Steele, right. who went to the Russians, paid for the lies that the media and the Democrats spread on Donald Trump to lie to the American people. That's exactly right. I mean, look, the problem with this dossier is not only is it inaccurate and wrong, uh, but when it first came out, there was no corroborating or substantiating information. Uh, what you have with Uranium One and the Clinton scandal is you have the actual transference of money. Nobody disputes that all this money went to the Clinton Foundation. You have the decision made to give the Russians the uranium. These are facts that are not in dispute. So, uh, And that's, I think, the problem that... Fr yeah, go ahead. Finish, finish. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm, I'm too worried. No, I was going to say that, you know, that's what I think. What I think was so frustrating to people is when you look at this, if you're going to look at Russian, uh, you know, penetration or a Trump's collusion, you got to have the same standard when you so look at the both sides. And they this? clearly have it. And that's why it's. They sold out America's security for money. True or false? Yeah. And they knew about it. it right, absolutely. And they knew about it, Sean. They were warned about it. This sure. is bigger than Watergate. The president said this is Watergate. This isn't Watergate. This, this people will forget this when when the Clinton corruption case is finally laid to rest. When this criminal cartel is, pays the ultimate penalty for what they did to America's national security, we're going to forget Watergate ever happened. But right now, right now, we have to find out who inside the DOJ under Eric Holder, who right, inside the run. FBI, we're going to find out we're, who, we're, who we're made ready. it possible. All right, Peter, you should take a bow. Two years ago on this program, you broke this story. Which an FBI informant has been gagged by the Justice Department uh, for more than four years now. And we have not seen the Attorney General Jeff Sessions and the Trump Justice Department lift that gag order so the Judiciary Committee can hear what he has to say. This is an amazing story. Uh, we can forget the Russian concussion. This is now Clinton collusion. Sarah Carter has done an amazing job. We, we now have the evidence. We have this informant who has documented not just the amounts that were going from Russian interests to Bill Clinton personally, half a million dollars, but also to the Clinton Foundation and then the bribes, the kickbacks that were paid to companies here in the U.S. involved in the the uranium deal. This, this, Lou, this will make Watergate look like a small then spat. Why in, in the, the world has Jeff Sessions, the attorney general appointed by this president, uh, why has President Trump himself uh, or having one of his uh, counselors tell this attorney general to lift that gag? Or Russia collusion, not Trump Russia <laughs> collusion. You know, I've been predicting this, Dr. Gorka, this massive boomerang for a long time. I've known that a lot of this evidence was out there and that it was all coming. And I've been telling my audience, it's coming, it's coming. Now where the floodgates are opening, if you will. It's like the, the last scene from that great Tom Clancy movie, The Hunt for Red October, where the bad submarine commander launches the torpedo and it comes back and it sinks his own vessel. That's what the Russian collusion story has done for the DNC and for Hillary. Let's stop using the word collusion because the evidence we now have is about subversion, it's about sabotaging the political process, and it's about propaganda. In the, in the Cold War, the Soviet Union used what was called active measures to undermine our democracy. This is the Democrat Party, this is the Hillary campaign, using active measures to undermine Donald Trump and to undermine the democratic process in America. It is a shocking story. And, and what really stinks here is Mueller wrote this is potentially such a massive scandal that uh, if it 
really goes to where we expect it to go, it will probably make us forget Watergate completely. There are two very serious uh, matters at hand. Number one, the issue that we have with regards to Uranium One, that there was a, a, twin, a deal made with Secretary Clinton's agreement with the sitting Attorney General to sell 20% of our uranium to Russia at the same time that it was being investigated for racketeering and for corruption charges. And then we have the dodgy dossier. We now find out that this dossier was fabricated with Russian sources. So this was a disinformation campaign. The FBI was paying uh, Christopher Steele, the individual who put it together. And we have the very, very disturbing fact that the existence of the file was leaked within minutes after James Comey uh, briefed it to the president. And that is the only reason today that we have special counsel Mueller investigating the president. So for nine months, it's been accusations against the president, against his campaign. And now we find the only collusion, the only conspiracy was in the Hillary campaign and the DNC, which paid six million dollars for this dossier. Newsmax TV. Watch us on DirecTV, AT&T Uverse, and Verizon Fios. Or download our free app. Don't have Newsmax TV? Call your local cable provider and request Newsmax today.